years old, and this is my science fair presentation for MSA M Science Fair. Presentation time. Why runners hold their arms up after finishing a race instead of bending over? I love to run and play outdoors, especially I love to uh, race with my friends, my dad and brother, and I love to dance. Then, when I finish a race, why does it take so long to recover before I can run again? I see some racers on TV and magazines bending over when they finish running. I also see others that walk around with their hands on top of their head. Is there a difference in these two positions? Does one of does one way and make someone recover faster and feel better? And then they are ready to run another race sooner. My hypothesis is that a runner will recover faster after a race with their arms over their head, head then bent over with their arms down. This is the expanded chest cavity. It expands bigger than the, and you can hear it breathing. This is a collapsed chest cavity. It's less expanded because your arms are down. To test my hypothesis, I set up the following experiment involving racing and participants charting the recovery, the recovery times. I have decided to test the hypothesis with a race across the universe, which is about an area about 100 feet. Each of our four family members will run a race and stop. We will recover with our arms up above our head and, uh, and how long it takes to recover. After fully recovered, we will run a race again and recover from a bent position. We will have we will try to see how long it takes to recover from the bent over position. We will compare the results. The pro the producer the procedure and to gather results to see if the person's arms being raised helps the recover from the race was to find the group of people willing to race. The, the fixed then the fixed then distance. Multiple times the test results of recovery position um, group that was chosen is my family. We are healthy but none of us are overly fit athletic enough that we would be able to recover more quickly because of the super body conditioning superior body conditioning. We are also comparing our own received times. With hands over our heads, I uh, suppose uh, to bent over, no um, person is being compared directly to another. The races were only testing the subject with a with a partner, not part of the test, encouraging the runner to give a maximum effort of three minutes of cool down. The race finisher is rotated at the end of the circuit. The racers allow a maximum, a, a maximum recovery time, so each racer runs twice, but there is a significant cool down time and three races before and they have to run again. This is done so that racer uh, can be fresh as possible and the race results will not be skewed by fatigue. fatigue. And to analyze my data, I have recorded recovery times for each of the racing participants. The hands up the recovery time bending over. I have also illustrated the results in graph. Though the race times vary, all uh, four participants' um, recovery time, we are significantly less when we finish the race and put our hands over their head. My conclusion is that the runners who finish the race and then have their arms up, okay, up, up, open their chest cavity, and lungs have more room to expand. And the lungs also have more oxygen, and they also give more oxygen to their body and uh, recover to the normal heart rate and, and breathing pattern. Good.
people like to run and stay healthy, but they don't like it how long it takes it takes it to recover. So we need to find how to recover fast. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I hope you have enjoyed it and gained some knowledge from it.